What up, y'all? It's AP on the spot, bringing you exclusives all the time. And today is a special day. You might be asking yourself, why? I got a special guest on the show today, live and direct from Philly. That's right. The one and only Meek Mill will be joining me right here. Stay tuned. Come on. Let's go. It's a special day, that's right. Meek Mill is here. He's gonna be joining me via Zoom in a couple seconds. But before I, you know, bring in my man Meek, I'm gonna talk about why Meek Mill is in such hot water and the controversy right now. Well, listen, Meek Mill has a new song with featuring Little Baby that dropped. It was a snippet of a song that dropped eh, roughly about eh, maybe about a day or two ago, and it was causing so much controversy on Twitter and Instagram and just social media in general because Meek has a line in the song that takes a shot and unfortunately disrespects. You know, a lot of people took it as disrespect, but the line takes a shot at the legendary. Kobe Bryant and his fatal, fatal helicopter crash from almost exactly a year ago. I think the timing was off. Kobe is will forever be engraved as a legend. So to take a rap line, you know, a little a little bar, a little lyric and just, you know, take a little slight disrespectful just to kind of compare, you know, your gun to, you know, Kobe's helicopter crash, I thought that was in poor taste. You know, if this was battle rap and he was battle rapping against somebody, now battle rap tends to be a lot more controversial, of course, and disrespectful, then that's a whole nother thing. But to put it in an actual song, I, it, 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 it just was in poor taste. It, we we could have did without that, Meek. And if I ever lack, I'm going out with my chopper. It'll be another Kobe. It was it was a light, you know what I mean? Meek responded back to everybody on Twitter that was basically slandering him and and basically wanting to cancel him over that little line. He was like, you know, people are being manipulated by other people to think that that's being disrespectful, whatever, whatever. But I don't know, Meek, I think you could have held off on that. But anyway, Meek is his own person. So, hey, he can do and say what he wants to do. Speaking of Meek Mill, I think Meek, even though he's about to join me in a couple seconds, because matter of fact, let's just get the Meek Mill right now because he's actually, Meek is actually training right now, live and direct. I got him coming in right now. I'm gonna I'm I'm bring him in. I'm gonna bring Meek in right now on the split screen so he can join us. Meek, you training right now for your big fight? Yo, word on the street is Meek, you have a big fight coming up. Meek, how's your training going for that fight you got? How's it going, bruh? Okay, I see. <laughs> Full disclosure, y'all, I think Meek is just reaching right now. You know, I think he's just basically trying to just get the headlines and just gear, gear up some some steam for his upcoming album that's coming out. You know, him and rapper Takashi 69 you know, who's known for being a, a, a hip hop prankster, uh, a troll, you know, a snitch, you know, he he ratted and snitched on his whole crew to get out of doing lengthy jail time. And this is all documented. Him and Takashi 69 about a week ago got into a little parking lot incident, you know, scuffle. They didn't get into a physical scuffle, but, you know, basically their own securities had to hold them back from report from allegedly getting into a scuffle with each other. It's just all publicity, y'all. I mean, it's just, Meek has been known to just gear up publicity. And, and a lot of time, Meek just stumbles and get in, gets in his own way, you know, which is corny, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Meek is, is, is I think he does a lot, I think he does some good, you know, as far as social justice reform and uh, prison reform and things of that nature, what he's been fighting for since he was released. But he also does a lot of cornball stuff too, like, that whole Takashi 6ix9ine incident in the parking lot of him and you know 6ix9ine going at it back and forth on Twitter or Instagram or whether it be you know him getting into you know trying to get into altercation with Nicki Minaj his ex-woman his ex-girl and her husband at a jewelry store I mean Meek has a history of just doing just nutty stuff Meek Mill will do something nutty before the end of this month. I tr trust me, he's got an album coming out in a couple weeks, so Meek will do something that's gonna try to guarantee, I guarantee you, Meek 
is going to try to do something to garner some controversy or just to get his name continuously in the headlines for all the wrong reasons, for all the silly reasons. <laughs> it's AP. Yo, I'll check y'all later. Peace.